Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and in this video I'm going to go over how I set the timing and phase the rotor when installing my Phytech fuel injection system. First I made a mark on my harmonic balancer at 10 degrees advanced which is where I want to set my base timing. I made a mark on the piece of tape to make it really easy to see when I'm using a timing light. Then I turned the engine over so I could line up the rotor with the number one terminal on the cap. I put a piece of tape on the body of the distributor and made a mark where the number one terminal lines up. Then I turned the distributor until they were in line. So it is extremely important to set the rotor to zero during this step. I actually pulled my distributor after my initial install and forgot to do that when I reinstalled it. The car ran horribly until I was able to adjust my timing. Once the rotor was lined up, I turned the adjustable rotor in the direction of the distributor's rotation, which is clockwise since I have a small block Chevy. I turned the rotor to the second black mark, which is 10 degrees. Since the camshaft runs at half the speed of the crank, it's actually 20 crankshaft degrees. Here's a look at the rotor after it's been adjusted. The reason for doing this is to line up the rotor in the terminal when the engine is under its maximum load. When I set the base timing at 10 degrees, the rotor will be directly under the terminal. When the Phytech advances the timing to the maximum advance of 36 degrees, the coil will fire 26 degrees before the terminal, so the spark will have to jump all the way over here. Then since I turned the adjustable rotor, it will bring the rotor 20 degrees closer to the terminal on the cap. Once the engine was set up, I moved to the handheld. I went into the initial setup screen and set the base timing to 10 degrees. I set the lock spark adjust section to 10 degrees as well and changed the lock timing to set section to locked. This will ensure the timing does not change at any RPM. Then I started the car and adjusted the timing with a timing light until the engine also set 10 degrees. Once my timing was set, I was ready to go. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for future videos where I go into other areas of the installation and setup of my Phytech fuel injection system. Now if you like this kind of tech, consider subscribing to the channel. Please like the video if you liked it, and let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.